Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Harold or Barbecuing with Harold the right way. Um, although everybody has their own ways of doing it, I just have my own way of doing things. So today I'm going to be making a, um, a peach filled pork tenderloin that I'm going to wrap with bacon and I'm going to smoke it on my grill for a few hours. Um, I'm just going to be using just the basic household remedies, some uh, brown sugar, some salt, some pepper, and then my, uh, my favorite uh, Weaver dry smoking rub. Very, very good. So um, without further ado, I'm going to uh, open this up and then I will uh, pull this out and we'll start to cut it. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and throw some seasonings on this. Um, but first I'm gonna cut this other one real quick just to kind of show you what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, it's perfect. Right there. Perfect. Like I said, you don't want to cut it all the way through, otherwise this whole plan is just gonna fail. So then after you're done with that, turn it upside down. Get your ingredients going. You know, you get your mustard. Just the initial start, just to keep all the seasonings and everything on there, really holds in all the flavoring for what you're trying to do. All right, next, I'm going to apply my um, Weber smoking rub. And I, what I want to do is I want to cover this. I want to get a nice bark on it. Okay, now that that's done. Next, we got our uh, brown sugar. But with our brown sugar, we're just gonna just cover this thing up. Both sides. And don't worry if it, some of it looks like it's gonna fall off because it will not because the bacon will actually hold that in there. All right, next, we're just gonna do some salt. My brown sugar I just pick up over at Smith's. I do all my shopping at Smith's. They have a really, really good selection on household remedies. Alrighty, so this is something that we're looking at right here. So you can see where I cut it, everything, right down the middle. I got some brown sugar inside there. Next, I got my peaches right here. Alrighty, so I got both my pork loins ready to be wrapped in bacon. Alrighty, so now I got my bacon. So what I'm going to start doing here is I'm going to start wrapping this up. And I just got this bacon over at the Walmart market. Um, about $2.48 a pack, which is good for, and for it being bacon. So I'm just going to just start wrapping this up. Alright, so you just want to make sure you get some nice toothpicks in there to kind of hold everything in place. Alrighty, we are still with the finished product right here. So what I have done is I wrapped it up with bacon. I used toothpicks to hold it in place. Um, I do think next time I do this, I'm going to make a bacon weave. I will make a video on showing you how to do a bacon weave. Um, it makes things like this a lot easier. So. That's what I'm gonna do next time, just a heads up. So um, this is it. I'm going to go throw this on the smoker and um, we'll go from there, thanks. I'm also gonna be smoking it on my char griller smoker that I had bought uh, a few months back at Home Depot. I have smoked whole pigs on this thing, um, about 37 inches, about 40 pounds. And um, hey, get one of these at Home Depot for 200 bucks. I'm going to be using some hickory wood that I picked up at Smith's. I usually get my uh, smoking wood from Home Depot. I just wasn't in the area, so I just swung by Smith's. I mean, it's pretty much all the same, so I just picked this up for about 10 bucks. I can pick it up at Lowe's and Home Depot for 10 bucks too, so um, that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm using my electronic 
um, coal heater that I'm using. Um, I like this over letter fluid because letter fluid get, can get kind of expensive, especially if you're doing this as much as I do. So 20 bucks at Lowe's, can't really beat that. Um, I'll check on this in about 10 minutes and it should be good enough to put on the smoker and we'll get the heat going, get that the temperature up in that smoker and um, we'll throw some wood on there, get the smoke going and uh, we'll go from there. Already, so I got my, my smoker going. I got some heat, as you can see, I got some fire. With it being as cold as it is outside, I want to get it up pretty high, so I'm sitting at about 300. Um, it's been pretty chilly out, so this is what I'm working with right now. So it's trying to keep that heat up. All right, so I got my smoker going. I'm sitting at about 300 degrees. I'm going to throw these pork loins on right now. I just put down a little piece of uh, tin foil, just so it's, it'll be easier for me to pick up, throw it back on the tray, so I don't make a mess of things. So let me just. Hey, Alrighty, I just got the pork loins on the smoker, so I just put a new piece of wood on, so I'm going to let this smoke for about 30 minutes and I'll come check on it. There it is. Peach stuffed bacon wrapped pork loin. 